Somalian, I think a Somalian guy here, or Sudanese. I mean, Somali, he's Somalian. There's a Somalian flag. 4ZR, what's up, brother? What's good, Trick? How you doing? I'm good. Are you Somali, right? Correct, correct. Is that wrong? Are you in Canada? Yeah, I think we spoke before. I, yeah. How do you... I had, I had a question, if you're going to allow me. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Yeah, man. Uh actually, yeah, one of it is that uh I don't know I don't know what I don't know why you guys are trying to tweak history and rewrite it uh respectfully. But this like we can't you guys can't Hold the on. fact that you guys are actual descendant of African. Would you would you disagree with that? We're descendant of Africa? Yeah, an actual African, yeah. Your phenotypes, the way your physiques. Literally, it's identical to the West African Africans. And in here, you guys are just trying to uh, sugarcoat each other, trying to, you know, and it's really, you know, disingenuous, in my opinion, of course, is not the popular opinion here. Oh, how come we can tell this, the difference and they can tell the difference? How come we can well, see so, when so, they're not? Well, subjectively, Tariq, I don't know if you want to blindside yourself, but if I look at you and I compare yourself to, let's say, a, a Nigerian guy, like you, you guys literally look the same. Of course, you can be a little bit lighter. Of course, you can linguistically be a little bit different. Of course, uh, you, genetically maybe like uh, your DNA might have uh, what they call uh, separated from the original African because you tend to live in North America for the past five hundred years. But it's still you, you, you still uh, have uh, some of those phenotypes. You still have the facial structure. You still have the physique. So. Would it be wrong me calling you West African? And why you, why you want to desperately distance yourself from the West African? Is it because uh, past grudges that you know, or past bad interaction that you've had with them? Like, where is it really? I'm, I'm just curious. Okay, then where in West Africa are they allowing me to come in as a citizen without any red tape? Well, oh, so it's just past, uh, past uh, grudges or. Bad interaction? No grudge. Because gene- like I'm, facts I'm, are the facts. No, stop, 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 stop. No, don't ask me something and then talk over me when I answer it. If you oh, okay, have a question, on. I'm gonna answer it. Is- Come on, don't don't throw your way out of this thing because we're gonna go there. Yeah, if go I'm a West African. Why don't this- West, if, why don't I get easy citizenship from any of those West African nations? S- Okay. Okay. Good question. Good question. Okay. Okay. The reason, okay, I don't know. Okay. First of all, it's not wrong to say what you don't know that I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Okay. There but I can give you a reason. There you go. If you can let me speak. If I, you can let me, I let me speak. You said you just, you just gave an answer. You said you just, you don't. No, no, but I'm going to expand on it. No, no, no. I don't no. If you don't know, there's nothing to expand on. That means you no, don't I'm gonna, know. I'm gonna so right now, you're about to babble. You don't know. So let me talk. Okay. I, I know we ain't African. We're not continental African, sir. That's why we don't get citizenship. We're not continental Nigerian. Descendant of, of African, Tariq. That's, that's descendant of, correct. Listen, everybody on the planet descended from Africa, sir. Everybody. So, But why, why are you trying to say that you're you're from North America, though? You, why, are you, why are you trying everybody to align, descended align yourself Africa. a little bit with the indigenous Indian? Every, why are you trying to align yourself with every, a little bit European admixture? Sir, Which could be true. Slow, but the predominant slow down slow down you're not going to talk over me everybody descended from africa why is it that we're the only group that's supposed to just hang on to centuries old african dna while everyone else can enjoy their ethnogenesis why can't we enjoy our ethnogenesis Go ahead. Because, okay, okay. Because it was, it's called the cultural genocide. The, the, when, the, when the Jews, okay, if I can, if I'm allowed to say that, when they, when they brought you guys here, 
they and with the help of the white too, right? They did a cultural genocide. They wiped you guys' culture away. But you guys somehow, uh, what they call uh, preserve like the like the like the uh, like the dreads, like the braids. You, you guys kind of like eat like the beans, like you know the 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 Louisiana cuisines. You know th- those still retain a little bit of African influences still because mm-hmm. slavery heavily influenced there and. They, they slavery, they what lasted the word, longer. The word, than... Slow it down. What Louisiana cuisines did we get from Africa? Name them. Like I'll, I'll, uh, some of the cuisines in, in the South tend to contain a lot of African influence. Like right? what? Like the like a lot of it. I can't name it at the top name, of my head. But name I, one. If you're gonna say something, you better show an example. Name one. What? What? Just just search it up. There, there, there's a reason why there's Google, Sorry. right? No, no. There's a reason why you point, that you can't back up because it was a lie. No, no, it's not all. You can look it up and then uh, fact not about me right now. Not about I literally hope. Sir, the, uh, the, if you say something, it's your job to prove what you're saying. You but I'm not a machine to read. We, no, we humans. I can't no, you, things. you say something that you knew you were lying about. That's why I, the information, I want to put it out there so you guys can go no, you know, double check. You're saying, no, you're just saying stuff, sir, which proves my point. Okay, we're all talk on this. Can I, can I proceed? So no, but no, because if you say something and then I ask you to elaborate and you start babbling, that means you deliberately. I'm not ask me about the and I I had to talk over you. You you ask me about cuisines, right? And I and I, I and I name you few. No, you did not. And I said, what food? Okay, okay. Are the, the chili. Food? Example: the chili. Okay, perfect, perfect example: the chili. Okay, it contains uh, ground beef, tomato, and beans. Okay. If you look at West Africa and uh, and actually the rest of Africa, uh, the sub-Saharan Africa, most of their cuisine, like their red sauce with the meat and the pe- the beans, they eat it with. Some of them eat it with rice. Some of them eat it with uh, plantain. Some of them eat it with fufu. What's red it's sauce actually, made out of? What's, really, what's red sauce made out of? Red, red sauce is uh, made from uh, mostly yeah tomato, obviously. Tomatoes, Mr. To West Africa, sir. But come on, like you wanna, you wanna, you, you talk about fruit specifically, like tomatoes are fruit. Oh, I, I don't... Goodness freaking tomato! Why, why you wanna focus on the tiny details? Are you not getting my tiny general? Details. If you say you said it, you said it, sir. Tomatoes are okay. indigenous to West Africa, sir. That, that's not what we're saying, uh, bro. Okay, listen, listen. Tomato. I'm um, okay. What, what do you think tomatoes from? What do you think? Here, North America. Yeah. So you say 500 years ago there was no tomato in Africa. Tomatoes are not indigenous to West Africa, sir. Indigenous. Okay, okay. That's a that's a clear distinction. No. So there were brought, no. uh, they they brought the tomatoes to West Africa from here. Mm, no, I I I will I will happily disagree. What do you mean you disagree? It's either true or not true. Because because tomato was widely used across Africa. Because it was brought by the Muslims on the Moors and East Africa, same thing. Ethiopia, there was tomato that were used in Ethiopia, in in the Horn of Africa, in North Africa, and it reached all the way to the Sub-Saharan Africa. Oh, sir, oh, sir. Yeah, you're trying to get otherwise. Tomatoes are native to the Americas, sir. Okay, I, I won't disagree with that, but are you are you are you suggesting? Sir, Spanish explorers started to bring tomatoes to Europe. And then they brought it to Africa later. Before 500 years, there were no tomatoes in Africa, sir. Okay, we don't want to get stuck on a little petty stuff, but can you address my main point that I asked early, which is why you guys try so hard to distance yourself from the actual African and try to shove that under the bus, which is uh, the fact that clearly you guys descended from Africa. Sir, listen. No one dis no one distanced themselves from Africa more than you, and you. You clearly do. You you do, sir. You flee from Africa the first thing smoking. You're not even there now. You're in. Okay, you like flee. last time, you, you distanced yourself. I'm not gonna do personal sir, attack to no, it. I don't That's want... not a personal First. attack. Y'all distance yourself from Africa. We're not I from there. No, no question. No, no, no. That's a projection. You're the one fleeing the hell from Africa trying to distance yourself. We're not from there. We're not continental Africans, sir. We're from Africa the same way everybody on the planet is from Africa. We're not continental Africans, sir. We haven't been in Africa for centuries. You're the one 
who hopped on an inner tube and got the hell up out of there, sir. That's not a personal. Right. That's a reality. All right, Tariq. So you don't tell me the Kim Jong Un own hatred and disdain for Africa onto us. You hate your homeland. You can't stand your homeland, sir. Let's keep it a buck. Let me get my brother Mikhail in here. Let me get. But I wasn't, I wasn't done talking. Don't turn to Kim Jong Un, Tariq. Like, can I? Can I speak? Okay. Like, respect. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get my brother Mikhail. I'm not turning into Kim. Yeah. Bring your wing, man. But let me like, give me. But no, give me a brother, no, no, no. I want to have him bring some clarity. I want to have him bring some more clarity to it. Yeah, you, you guys can put Tim on me, but Nobody, let me but nobody's beating up on you. Just facts. If you say something, we need people who's going to correct. I just one question. Oh no, oh, no, no, no. Slow I, down. Slow down. But you're calling a reinforcement. No, no, not reinforcement. We're just this is a conversation. It's sir. clear. Okay, go on. All right, brother Mikhail, hop in, sir. Great Minister of Code. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> mhm. Mm he Brother said four ZR. Yeah. What well, you got? What well, you got to say to me? Are you gonna address my point, or are you just gonna like to? Yeah, I'm gonna address, address your point. How are long? How long were the Somalis dominated and occupied by the Arab Sultanates? How long, sir? You're you're wrong, sir. I ask you a question. All, How long did the, the Arabs control Somalia? That's a simple question, Perfect sir. question. Perfect question. I like you guys. I will answer. But don't meet me and don't rush me, okay? How there long? Just this... answer the question. How long? Okay. Can I, you, you, you're constantly talking over me. Can I ask It'll you? It'll take you five seconds. Just answer the question, no. sir. There were, there were zero Arab sultan and all the sultans in the Horn of Africa were indigenously somali all the all the, really all the, all really the sultan yeah okay everyone knows and and they're very smart people in this room sir we're scholars the, in I, fact I many know, of us are genius we know wants, that the arabs so, controlled somali from the middle ages to the early modern period meaning 19th you're, you're century wrong. sir these you're are wrong. facts now let me ask you a question you can call it fact and proceed. But many many you, of man. your people carry the genetic markers. I would even say the Hoplo group, R and J. Do you know what that means, sir? No, explain yourself. I'm sure. not into the genetic, but explain it. That's you, okay. Trying to say I, 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 I'll help you with that. It means that many of you people are genetically Arab. And your minds are arab can I tell Did you, you know what? that? You Did can you know spell that? punch up and then cut me up and so, drop me, but can I back right, you? Right, so my, my, my next back. question is, are, are you, you more, are, 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 are you, do you have more in common with the so-called no, Ethiopians no. and Eritreans that's, or, that's, the, that's, or, that's, or, or, or the Yemenites? Can hmm? I speak? I ask you Wait, a question. You, you just made a point. Can do I you have more in common, sir? With the so called so Ethiopians, I, the people of no, Djibouti, they, they, the people of Eritrea, no, or oh the Yemenites? God. I ask you a question, you just, sir. That, that, answer the question. Just answer no, the question. You made a, no, you made a bold claim. I just want to address and then you can. I ask you a question. First, but can I just address that one point? Hurry. Which is, you said Somalis are mixed with Arabs. You're clearly wrong. If you know the Horn of Africa, which you act like you are, okay? I don't, so what? I don't so what? So what? So what does Haplo? What Haplo, does Haplo? Haplo group J and Haplo group no, R African, mean? Who who carries that, just, that Haplo group? So everyone kind of can go search it up. The the, the Somali genetic phenotype. I mean uh, DNA, whatever. Right? You can trace. Okay, it. so yeah. you you're stuttering and stammering, and you're wasting my no, time. No, but last question: no, what 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 does what does Somali mean? I fact checked you that you want to run away from the point. I asked you a what question: what what does Somali mean, sir? Somali means Somali. It, it derived from the word Somali, and that was a, a figure that the Somali people descended from. Okay, sir. So, all right. Okay. Yeah, see how I'm answering you guys? Somali, Somali means, Somali oh, means no, no. go so, milk. So go milk your camel. All right. Thank you, dear brother. I'll right. have, and thank you for the opportunity to speak. Love you all. There you go. No, you're welcome. So, Tariq, you going to answer my point or you going to drop me? No, no. Okay, what's your point? What's your, your point again, sir? Yeah, just the question that you've been struggling with, which is, 
why you guys try to not claim West Africa, but tend to claim uh, in, uh, American Indians and some of the European admixture that you guys have had in the we claim in, in land because this is the land that we're on, and we claim this country because this is the country that we built and we've cultivated the culture of. We are the only true Americans. Other groups brought in other cultures. We did not. We did not immigrate here. But why you guys call yourself? Afri I mean, African American, but the Europeans don't, don't call themselves don't. European Americans. We don't. In a sense, they're trying to act like the land belongs to them more than you guys, and they're trying to paint you guys as you know migrants in a way when they those we, connotations. God damn, we do not use the term African American. We're getting away with that. The term African American was given to us in 1988 by the Democrats through Jesse Jackson to make us comparable to immigrants. We are not using that term. We are using the term foundational black American because we are foundational to the United States, sir. Why, that, that's why, a, would, we, why would we claim Africa? Why would we claim Africa? And if we would claim Africa, oh, that would mean everybody else on the planet would have to claim Africa, right? Okay, Tariq, the reason why you you got to claim Africa is because it's the continent that you descended from. And secondly, the 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 FBA created the term uh, foundational black America. But, but prior to that, the most popular, uh, what they call term was uh, African-American, which is widely used in the media, in the social life. And you guys normalized it. And all of a sudden, the FBA trying to make it seem like, oh, that's a bad connotation, like, or that's a bad word. Like, in a way, you're contradicting yourself. No, not, sir. There's a reason why the dominant society pushed the term African-American to make us comparable to immigrants. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Go on, go on, go on. Why is it so important to you that we acknowledge Africa? Why is it so important to you? Perfect question. And don't, don't cut me off. Listen. If, you know, you hear because, because I'm not one of those racist ones, okay? Because I want that, I, I mean, I want the propaganda picture that the American machine uh, makes about Africa to be washed from you guys' head. And actually, when Africa is prosperous and peace, uh, peaceful enough for you guys to come travel to, I want you guys to come travel and exp explore the, the continent that you guys actually descended from with peace and harmony and actually learn from the culture and the locals, bro. Why that, that's to go I'm, over there so bad? But you to distance yourself from that. So and you want us why do you want why do you want us to go over this say that again why do you want foundational black americans to go over there so badly because that's what that's what uh what they call Malcolm x wanted that's what uh mlk whatever his name is wanted that's what muhammad ali wanted that's what all the good good black african american that are not corrupted by the jews and the degeneracy that goes on today you wanted true that wasn't true no, that is actually Malcolm X was not. Let's all pack up and move to Africa. Dev, Bro, he, he wanted to Nigeria. He went. He wanted to Egypt. He's the. He, he's the. He visited. No, no, no. No, hold, hold on. Doctor King wasn't doing that. No, no. You just lying on everybody. Doctor King wasn't talking about packing up, going to Africa. Doctor King was talking about getting reparations over here. Doctor King talked about how important we were to the United States. He was talking about getting a check. Martin Luther King, I mean, Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali, they weren't talking about packing up moving to Africa. They weren't talking. Yeah, they visited. They were both students of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad was not a pan-Africanist. Don't let anybody tell that lie. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad was not a Pan-Africanist. He really didn't speak on Africa like that. Nor did he teach the brothers and sisters in the nation to speak like that, to make it seem like we got to be on some Pan-Africanism stuff. No. So, sorry, just don't be up here saying stuff. All right? Some of us know better. Just don't be... We know history, sir, but go ahead. Just wanted to... I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. But... My point is, is the the thing that I'm presenting, presenting, and the thing that I'm saying, are, is it not coherent? Is is it what I want for the African, uh, what they called, uh, Nate? I mean, American. 
Is it not coherent? Is it not uh, what they call viable? Is it not nice to actually go see where you guys descended from? And where, you seem to have a problem with it. From? And do you mind expanding on it? Where did we descend from in Africa? I don't want to confine you to one because location, but generic Africa. The, the not, whole continent. Generic Africans. We're just not generic Africans, sir. I know you're not. I know you're not. Are, but am, you, am I, mean, aren't you the funeral? Hold on. Aren't you in Minnesota? You're in Minnesota right now, right? No, I'm not. Person, I'm I'm from Canada. I told you that. But I thought, yeah, yeah, I thought it was either Minnesota or Canada. How come you ain't over there enjoying all of that African beauty? I go yearly. I go yearly. I I I'm you know I'm I'm born into tank. I'm born to a very successful I'm under prison. family. I know you got to go to your mansions and tent. All that. Okay, let me cut. I am love. I am. Let me get love. I am in it. Love. I am. Come deal with this, sister. What do you okay. think the indigenous Americans look like? Okay, I need some reinforcement. What does he this? think? What do you think the ancient indigenous Americans look like? Because you're trying to get him to answer a question that you view and perceive as a valid one, and we don't necessarily even view it as a valid one. So first, you must superimpose that perspective, and then no, you want us to answer a question that we haven't. Question. Then you want us to ask, then you want us to, you are asking us to answer a question that only you view as a valid one. So what did you think the indigenous ancient America looked like? Okay. Okay. I, I think they didn't look like, I, of course they, there's, there's uh and if you don't mind, there's, there's indigenous or Asian people, which the native, the native American are actually from Siberia. If you believe in the land bridge and all that, the, the bearings and all, all that, uh, what they call it, science stuff. If okay, you, you just that. disqualified well, that I, population. You just disqualified okay. them from being listen, indigenous. Listen, so can we, let's I'm, start again. I'm, Hold on, I'm sorry. Fine. You already, you're, you denoted you're Siberia, so you've already disqualified them. So I'm you're asking you, what do you believe that the indigenous ancient American well, people look like? I didn't get to make my point. You just interrupted me, if you don't mind. So my point is, the native, of course, you can make the claim that, oh, maybe since the native had a little white African nose, you know, big nostrils and all that, the African features, you can make the claim that they're African, but factually, they're not. They were just indigenous Native American that this, uh, that came, that migrated all the way from Siberia and north, uh, northeastern Russia, you know, the, 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 the most eastern part of Russia, okay? Me, personally, I don't believe, and genetically, genetically, you know, the information that that are fun about their genetics, supposed me also. So I don't think they were Africans. I think they were Native Americans. That's my that's my answer. Do you know when the term Native American came yeah. into usage? What century? Uh not not necessarily. You can you can tell me. It was in the eighteen hundreds is when that term was applicable to those to those groups. So you didn't answer my question, nope. though. I just asked you, phenotypically, what do you think the indigenous ancient American people look like? It's really a simple I, question. I, yeah, I think I think I just touched on that. I think they were uh, indigenous uh, Amer African, I mean, uh, Native Americans. But you know so how I'm asking you skin. I'm asking you, know, you hue. I'm asking you phenotype. And then yeah, once you answer that, I would a I would actually I'm going to ask you a second question of. How do you know? Okay, save that second question. But your first question, how uh, what they call, uh, who do they look like? I think they look like Southeast Asian. Like you see some Filipinos that have wide nostrils or wide nose, just like Africans. Sir, I, what do you think the original population of the Philippines looked like, sir? Uh, what does the ancient I, population I, I, of the Philippine look like? I think they 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 had some African features because they were called Negrito. They were called Negritos, by the way. They were Negritos, by the way. Negritos. Genetically, they're not African, though. Okay, so Genetic. the Negritos are not African, but the Negroes are African, is what you're saying. The, yeah, the Neg uh, the Negroes and the uh, what they call the the Bantu Africans or the West African. Negro is not synonymous with Bantu. Um, can I, I'm sorry, I came up to give a submission. I didn't want to talk to him. I'm not trying to. Call I'm, me. Oh, your question. That's I don't why you know. Don't it's me. just that I don't care. You're from Somalia. See? Oh, excuse okay, me. Now, I'm now, sorry. Now, I it's I, just I can I please give my contribution without him, Tariq? Please. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Dear. I'm sorry. Well, I, I literally I don't have any bandwidth for it. I apologize if you want it. I don't know what your intended purpose. Okay. Was there. Just... Yeah, I was just gonna bring to the conversation that um the term Africa was not applied to the continent, the entire continent until the 17th century. So prior to that, there was no single homogenous identity that melanated persons were operating under prior right. to colonization. With that being said, dark races are the original inhabitants of every continental landmass um, from the Americas, Eurasia, and Africa, and Australia. And so I'm asking him because there's some fallacy. Um, all the original ancient populations were melanated. So I think that they have something else in mind. And I think that that comes from a McGraw-Hill educational system. And with that being said, so Africa is being erroneously applied to particular dark races. That is not true. Mm -hmm. um, and then also too, black is being erroneously applied in a sense that these were dark races. That's the only objectively true fact. Mm -hmm. um, outside of that though, you had these different group, these different populations that you knew them by what they called themselves. And so, yeah, but when we're talking about the ancient indigenous population in America, there are evidences that there was civilization that the modern Native American has no connection to. And there was a woman on the stage, I don't want her submission to go um, devalued or overlooked because the Somali is centering himself, but she stated that there was no evidence that our ancestors were taught um, how to cultivate the land here in America. And that's because we already had that skill set, okay? Mm -hmm. And there is evidence that other groups were taught how to cultivate, cultivate land, and that's including the European immigrants that migrated subsequently. So he's trying to superimpose his consciousness, but these people have to stay in their lane and understand that they don't inform our perspective. So all they have is an opinion. It's not like we're going to, you don't know more than we know as it pertains to ourselves. So even when you ask a question that centers Africa, such as why are you trying to disassociate yourself? No, we're trying to prioritize ourselves. And that doesn't require us to have any consciousness applied towards any group other than ourselves. We're not thinking about them when we're worried about ourselves. And that's the difference between that's the difference between what we're doing, which is lineage-based movement. So that requires us to know our lineage and what you are trying to do when you come to this stage. And I'm sorry, but we don't know you. There you go. I, I know you don't. I know you don't. And I respect uh, most of the part that you most of the things that you say, I agree with it. Okay. I, I agree with it. I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you. But that last part, that last part, of course, it seems all nice and all of that, but I wouldn't have problem with it if you if you prioritize your people and don't actually try to claim other people, which you which you don't tend to do. Because most of the FBS actually claim we claim ourselves. We're not claiming other people. That's the thing. We're claiming ourselves. We don't have to claim other people. Our history is deeply rooted and rich and full of culture. No other group has the same type of cultural capital that foundational Black Americans have. We don't have to claim anything else. We're claiming our lineage. This is our homeland. This is our country that we built from scratch. We created all of the cultural elements of it. We had a footprint in almost all of the inventions. We don't have to claim anybody else. This is our joint. You're the one seemingly desperate to... Okay, Tariq, I, I don't disagree with you, brother. Listen, what the, a lot of the FBS tend to do is that they claim the Native American more than the African, I mean, the actual indigenous, I mean, the actual African, the continent of Africa. That's when I have a problem with it. And that's what I've uh, sensed within the FBA uh, uh, community. And I'm just trying to shine a light to it, but all of a sudden I'm being uh, shoved aside. What? And then... Okay. And I... Or, now, why do you think we things? We wouldn't we have more of a camaraderie 
with the black indigenous culture here than African culture? You mean uh, the the Native American? The black indigenous, like, which is that was native. To yeah, you can call it black. Oh, they have a melon, whatever. Yeah. So, repeat your point. I didn't. I didn't quite catch it. Because you but talk I, too much. Right. Well, let me average. Tell, tell out, bro. Don't chime in. Like we're having a respectful conversation. Mm -hmm. You over talk the sister. What do you mean? Don't chime in. Another thing too. Stop correcting no, black no, Americans. No, Thank no, you, Tariq. By the way, stop, stop correcting black, black Americans about their lineage. We told you who we are. We are black Americans. Foundational black Americans. You keep saying African Americans trying to tell us who we are because you paternalize yourself and act like you have something to teach rather than something to learn. Okay, this That's, is our land. Uh, Jamaicans, Jamaicans, Brazilians, uh, Trinidadians. These are all people who don't get Africanized. But for some reason, we get Africanized. We have to be something else. No, we are our own culture. We are our own culture. And we told you, we have our own history. We tried to teach you. You keep over talking. And you, by the way, my mama told me, you know what? You need to shut up because you can't learn nothing with your mouth open and your ears closed. But you keep trying to talk because you're not listening to learn. You listening to just okay. respond. You don't know what no, you're, no, excuse no. me, sir. Excuse me. You've been talking for like 30 minutes and Tariq never mutes the stage, but he had to today. He ain't muted the stage in like 30, 100 spaces, but he had to mute it on you because that's how much you talk. You diarrhea at the mouth, sir. Okay. Now okay. you can learn. So listen, okay. listen, let's talk about no, you, DNA. Let's talk about DNA for a minute because Brother McCow came no, up that's, here. That's, Brother McCow that's, came that's, up here and tried to tell you about haplogroup J and R that you didn't know anything about. You don't even know where you come from yeah, or your yeah, own people not, to be telling somebody not, else about where they come I'm, from. Another thing about I, I, being I, black indigenous, here's something else. Because you deify whiteness so much, you can't even think that there were no, ancient no, no. black people who traveled the world well before the white That's man ever did. You can't even you can't even envision that. You can't. So you you actually limit the greatness of people who come from Africa, whether it be now or, or ancient times. But guess what? Here's another thing. Genetic genetic Adam is from South Carolina. That means the oldest DNA of a black man comes from South Carolina, which actually means you may have come from us, that we left that land a very long time ago. We traveled and you descend actually from us and not the other way around, which may actually be why you no, copy no, no. it. You copy our aesthetic to this day. It's, it's in the DNA wrong. for you to try to be like us. And the copy us sharing a little bit of DNA does not mean that we are the same people. It means that at one point, at one point, we had some similarities with people that inhabit a land now today. You're new, you're nomadic people. So you guys travel all over, consume and go somewhere else. So who you are today and where you are today doesn't mean you were there during ancient you. times and doesn't mean you were there. Doesn't mean that you were there when we left and discovered America because we are the original Americans. I land my plane there. You can go ahead and cry to Tariq now. A long rant, but let me ask you a question before you go drop. Okay, no, 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 don't Where ask do me you... nothing. You couldn't even speak. I, I'm not, you, you don't, you're not worthy of me answering you. You talk too much and you don't learn. We are black Americans, foundational black Americans. Get it through your head. You can't learn, can you? Is there some kind of comprehension issue? We are foundational black Americans. That's it. That's it. We're not African Americans, we're foundational black Americans. If you can't learn nothing, if you can't learn anything, then you can't teach. Because teachers have to learn before they can teach anybody anything. Oh, no, like, take Stop deep paternalizing breath, yourself like, in conversation, sir. Stop paternalizing you yourself. Okay? Oh, let's, let's no, 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 no. We can have a we can have a conversation when you shut the hell up and let yeah, somebody talk you, and quit over talking them. You have nothing to teach people about their own no, culture, you, especially especially you, when you're not on their level intellectually. You have nothing to yourself. teach, sir. You have everything to learn. Okay? You are the control infant yourself. here. We are the father here. You need to be learning and, and shutting up. You don't respect black Americans. No, you tried to say we're degenerate. Oh, oh, you tried to say we were we degenerate did. earlier, sir. Do you know how crazy that is? When you left where you were from, you couldn't build it. And then you and you force his, you force uh, circumcisions on the women. We don't do that. But we're the degenerate ones. No, and you copy I, our aesthetic. I, 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 and now you can't even I, be quiet. You're like a woman. You guys are Come on. You're like, a, you're, like a, you're, like a, you're like a girl, actually. You're like a girl. You're, to, you're like a, you're like yeah, a hood just, rat. You can't even be quiet. Okay, because you don't have nothing to teach here. You have everything to learn here. We told you okay, what it I'll is. All right, all right. Let me just bring it back. Okay, all right. shout out to Average. Shout out, thank you, Average. Okay, before you drop him, sorry, can I ask you a question, brother? Yes. Thank you. So, okay, you went on a long run respectfully, okay, which you had the right to do so. But my question is, where do you think the modern, I mean, the yeah, where do you think the human race descended from? OK, since you're claiming that I'm, I descended from you, but not the other way around, because the more like where the human originated is modern day Somali and Ethiopia, the highlands. OK, 
That's at least what the science says. Uh, uh, what they call science says. If you if you believe in science, okay, since you claim you educated in this and okay. all of that. Okay. Now, now hold. So my wait, question. Wait. wait, 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 wait so wait, answer that. Go down. Okay. Now, if we're gonna get into science, let's get into science. Um, we keep talking about, and you keep saying Native American, the Native American, Native American. You know, the oldest fossils found in the Americas. You know what that is? No, go ahead. Tell me. Luzia woman. That's the oldest human fossils found here in the Americas. I think 13. Um, what, what, ethnically. What is she? Modern day, ethnically. No, 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 no. Because we're talking about Native Americans, right? Oh, uh, okay. All right, let's proceed. So oh, there's going to that. Luzia woman is the fossils they found that this woman was here 13,000 years ago. They did a recon they did a reconstruction of what she looked like. Guess what she looked like? Shout out to African phenotype. Black ass woman. A black w with the thing? woman with Come woolly hair, the whole big lips, big nose, high cheekbones. Luzia woman straight up and down black. Her hair is what what makes a distinction from from let's say South Southeast Asian like the Filipinos with the big nostrils just like with the West Africans then the actual you know you know what I'm trying to say so is the the hair is what distincts I mean make make the distinction between Asians that have the similar phenotype than the actual African that have both the phenotype the melanin and the kinky hair wouldn't you wouldn't you agree you know you keep bringing up African I'm talking about what. Uh, an indigenous American looked like. It was a, a black woman, big lips, and an afro. That's what the... Okay. This is what... Science, we're talking science. I want you to Google yeah. Zia woman. Or just Google what's the oldest human fossils found in the Americas that'll come right up. Luzia woman. Straight but Tariq, my... Okay, go on. Go on. So uh, that, that's to say that the original inhabitants of North America, they were also phenotypically black people. They were black aboriginal people here. It's supported by science. This is supported by DNA. This is supported by firsthand accounts of all of the European explorers. They said this. This is supported by scientists, white scientists like Constantine Raffines, people like Leo Werner, um, um, Von Wout now, a lot of white people have been very... Okay. There were black so, people in North America. Let's get that straight. So, I so, 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 said this. So, so, no, mind if I can start a question in there before you proceed. Go so, ahead. do you? So, are you uh, the modern African American? Okay, since you mentioned her, do you? Are you saying that you descended from those people, which are you, you, which you were saying that they the Native American and they had the African phenotype, right? Which is the modern African American. Then, then let's say when I say. You guys descended from West Africa, cause, cause that girl I'm assuming, and I know that might have not make sense, but I'm just trying to, you know, English my not my first language, you know. So be patient with me. So, so, so the more what distinct her from that, uh, the, make make the distinction, uh, what they call between the African actual West African and that girl that you just named is the hair is what I'm trying to say. And you guys hair is not like the Native American, and that's the point that I'm trying to make, and that, that's why that's why I say when I say. You guys can't lay a claim to the Native American because the hair doesn't allow you guys, yeah. respectfully. Sure. If you're speaking, you know, sure. vision. Not for sure. You had you had people over here with straight up and down afros, sir. You had some of the red natives with the... That's from intermingling with the, with the Europeans. Oh, no, no, no. And the South American. No, sir. That's not true. So, it are, is, sir. Even in East, or even in East Africa, you have your, your homeland Somalia. You have people over there with with um, thin, curly hair. You have people over there with afros. Yeah, but but we're not like you know. It's not like the situation is not like North America, though. You know, like right. That's that's the oh, sir. that's the ancient world. That was the you know that was the world before the new. Oh world. no, sir. When the the Ethiopians were fighting the British over there in East Africa. Um, when they were fighting the British and the Italians in the late 1800s, there was a group called the Fuzzy Wuzzies. You heard about them? No, we we beefed the Ethiopians, so I don't know that. But they were called the Fuzzy Wuzzies because they grew their hair into these giant afros. No, no, no. That those are the those are the Somali. Ethiopians are not known for rocking afros. They're known for like the dreads and all that stuff. They let their hair go. They don't take care of it. 
Sir, good. Just Google fuzzy wuzzies. Damn, every time I say something, you go, oh, that didn't happen. Just look it up. No, no, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not disagreeing with you, but I'm just saying the the modern Ethiopia half of it belongs to Somalia. So maybe those are the Somali people. You know, you never know. Because Afro, the Somalis popularized Afro in that region. You know. Sir, the fuzzy wuzzies were Ethiopian, sir. Y'all can Google okay. the fuzzy wuzzies. They called them the fuzzy wuzzies. Okay, but, proceed, proceed. Make I'm, I'm just saying they were they were over there and uh, well you know what they were over there in the Sudan they were over there in Ethiopia they were over there in Eritrea they were with some of those different tribes over there so those tribes were just kind of um in that area but yeah they had these big ass afros that they grew sir and they were very mm -hmm. they were very skilled they they got into guerrilla warfare sure all right so I'm just saying the the different places they have different hair structures. Like even, even black people here, all of our hair ain't the damn same. All right. You got black people with, with rough, coarse hair. You got black people with with more soft, curly hair. Our hair textures vary in, in foundational black American culture. So, and also another but, thing, you, you got this thing yeah. wanting us to really, really claim Africa. Now let's let's be real. Let's talk Turkey. What do foundational Black Americans owe Africa? What do they own or owe? Oh, oh, what do we owe oh. Africa to claim Africa? What do we owe Africa? Because from from their perspective, they feel like basically you're you guys are them basically. That that if I I'm looking at it from their lenses basically, like you guys are them. And then you know things turn out the way they turn out, but they, they they I feel like they want you guys to actually tap tap in with the actual African culture, the the true African culture. What is that? When Af which is the, the land, right? Since you guys are into nature, the land, the food, the uh, what they call the wildlife, they, right? Wait, okay, like, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! If they wanted us to tap on, in with the land. Why don't we get dual citizenship without any red tape? Because every African nation operates differently. And some of them are still suffering just because they're free in paper. Some of them are still uh, financially occupied. Some of them are militarily occupied. Some Because every African nation... Uh, got but they don't have control of the land. So they don't have a culture of land. So that X'd out what you just said about land. Now, what else? No, no, no the land is still there, but, no, but the circumstances... They don't not have right. control over it. They don't, you just said it. They don't have control over the land. So there it is right Sir, so what? sir no, 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 but proceed. Oh, okay, okay. Thank thank you so much. I'm getting kind of bored. Thank you, thank you, guys. I'm, I'm, I, I got bored. Not enough. Okay. Oh, Lord. I just got bored. I'm, I'm not going to, this guy just you're debunking this guy. Then he, good Lord. You, know, you sometimes just get tired of debunking some damn body. The land, the culture is the land. Okay, how can we get suited? How can we can't get citizenship or dual citizenship? Well, they don't own the land; it's occupied. Okay, well, damn it, that just contradicted everything you said. Okay, all right. Oh goodness, family, family, family! This thing where they are desperate to Africanize us. This is what I'm saying. And this is why, this is the great thing. You know why? Because this shows that the foundational Black American delineation is working because people like this are panicking because we are letting them hold their own nuts. You have to fight for yourself. You don't have us being the guard dogs. See, they want us to have this camaraderie with Africa so that we will fight. For the little rights that they have. He's over here in North America because of what we fought for. I want y'all to get this straight. They always want to Africanize us so that we can fight for any little right that they get. Anything they get popping, it came from us. Where am I lying? You tell me where I'm lying. Anything you get popping over there, that then came from us somehow. Y'all get to come over here based on the policies that we fought for, based on the infrastructure that we fought for, based on the laws that we fought for, all across the board. 
now that we're saying, hey, you know what? Y'all sending too many Myron Gaines over here. So you know what? Uh, y'all just do you. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. We're all the same, nigga. We're all the same. Well, not like us. You like the West Africans. Because I'm really a wannabe Arab. You see? You can still feel the contempt with what he's saying. Notice, he's like, well, you guys are like the West Africans. Because we we need you, but we don't even really want to claim you like that. But we need you to claim Africa so we can we can proxy off of that. You see? Because he's... Those dudes... A lot of those cats will want to be Arabs, dude. A lot of them cats will want to be Arabs. So what they want us to do is to claim some kind that he's trying to make us Bantu. They're always trying to make us some tribe that we ain't got to do with. You, you got the same phenotype. Because he can't say we have the same phenotype as Somalians. So he know he can't say that. You know you can't go there. You know good and well we don't have no Jimmy Neutron ass head. He can't say that. So he keeps trying to tie us into the West African phenotype so that at least we can sit here and claim the continent and then he can ride on that boat. And we're saying no. That's why I asked, why, is, why are you so desperate for us to claim this stuff? Uh, I just want you to, uh, to come over and enjoy Africa. You ain't even over there. But I'm going back. I go back. Uh, God damn it. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear another Prince of Zamunda story. I just don't want to hear it. I'm so sick of hearing that they go back and forth to tend to their herd of elephants and their palace. And they got to go tend to the diamond mines. I don't want to hear none of that Prince of Zamunda. Shit. I don't want to hear it. If you had all of that gold in them diamond mines and all that, you wouldn't be driving Uber in Canada. You just wouldn't. From New York Times bestselling author Tariq Nasheed comes foundational Black American race baiter, the groundbreaking book shaking up the conversation on race in America. As one of the most influential voices for Black Americans today, Nasheed exposes the tactics used to manipulate, subjugate, and control Black communities. In this powerful read, Tariq Nasheed equips you with the knowledge to resist injustice and reclaim your narrative. Don't miss out on the book that's redefining the game. Foundational Black American Race Baiter, available now at officialfba.com. Get your copy today.